Yes, I mean, today we're going to do the winter from the Four Seasons of Vivaldi. We are going to use the Soundplay app. Um, so uh, we've been using it for a while in the just practicing segments that we do. It's an app that you um, you can use. You can buy uh, pieces from them, and then you get the music, and you all that you can print or you can read from your um, tablet or computer or phone uh, and then well phone might be a bit small to read music and you also get um, you get the flute part the orchestral part or piano part if it's a flute and piano piece and you can get uh, and you can get both together so you can listen to them differently and you can change the uh, tempo and you can make loops if you want to work on a specific um, um, a specific uh, section. section of the piece. So yeah, that's pretty much what it is. You can also use it on the phone just as the backing track. You know, doing that yeah, you can print your music and then just yeah. put the backing track on yeah. your phone so you can practice it if you're in school and you mm -hmm. practice at school sometimes, you can just practice like that. It's easy. So it's a, it's a cool thing to learn music, especially when you have, I know I used to do competitions when I was younger and I didn't have a lot of time to practice with the um, accompanist so I would have really loved to have that back then <laughs> so yeah so I'm um, just gonna do a few notes because I didn't uh, play yet I'm doing here is just um, about how I feel you know like I realized I would be more comfortable putting my foot joint a little bit more inwards and then my head joint I and then how it feels in my head how open it is uh, it's just that you know just for a second I'm gonna try playing that I never looked at it yet so yeah let's do this trill the whole time uh, yeah. uh, the D flat E flat okay so it's here it's just this little key um, just write it second key so I remember second key here on the D flat at bar seven okay I think for that you really have to um, make a little make a little um, silence between each of the trills so it's easier to know where you are rhythmically and focus on the on the first note of those three Ta-ya-da, ta-ya-da, ta-ya, ta ya ta Yeah, so that's how uh, I'm going to think about it to keep it uh, straight. And you want to give it a little bit of, of um, direction as well. Yeah. If you have any questions, comments, uh, you can leave them in the live stream and I'll answer them right away. Okay, I'll 
look at that B thing. So it's just a C, m C minor at B where B, B, so people can see. Yeah, it's just a C minor arpeggio. They change the slurs there. First time they do ta 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 ta, ta and now they do ta ha ta ta ha ta, ta ta. I'm gonna do all the same because it's gonna be easier for me. Maybe I'll just do ta ha ta ta ha ta ta ha ta ta ha ta ta. So now I'm here at 17. Yeah, 17 here. one before B so I can get the tempo you know to work on the speed there uh, that's 80 mm -hmm. so what I would do for B uh, where I was late would be to put a metronome uh, right now it's 80 per quarter note so I would practice it per eight note so let's say I do at 100 
sometimes it's not totally perfect and I continue because I'm still warming up and um, I feel if we get uh, stuck in the details and we don't let just um, our bodies get in place, you know, and uh, just being aware, oh, okay, that little trill there um, was not the way I wanted it. Next time I'll do it, I'll correct this thing. But I don't have to stop completely to do that. I can just carry on. Okay, so now I'm kind of stuck with the speed. I think maybe if I change it articulation I'll try this so I, I slur the the whole scale going down um. do is I'll play just one beat at a time but fast okay now I'll do two beats other so I'll do first alone and then I'll I'll um, do together second and third and then fourth and first of the next bar okay I forgot to stop but it's not a big deal now I'll do it super slowly and then I'll try to do it the real tempo practice all of those little parts like that and also maybe with different rhythms and um, different ways like that and it's not because now it's a bit better that it's over I would have to do it again and again for different days you know so that you let your brain um, digest that and rest and um, and then you come back to it and you make those neural pathways stronger and stronger okay but I'm gonna continue so that's just to, sh to show how I'm, I would practice that part. Um, everything good? Is there any uh, comment or anything? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. Like, yeah, a lot of people are just saying, uh, how long have you been playing? I've been playing um, 26 yeah, yeah. years. <laughs> now, now somebody was asking, is this the first time you've ever played this piece? Yeah, first time I've ever looked at it. Mm -hmm. But it's scales and arpeggios, yeah. you know? If you know your scales and arpeggios and yeah. you played studies and all those things, th at one point, it's... Uh, yeah, and Chelsea, she's like, uh, Chelsea, she's, uh, your videos are always helping me. Can't believe I finally get the chance to watch live. Yes, it's live. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. We're all together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to do just a bit before C. I'm going to try that. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look at that. Uh, so here I'm gonna write that it's an A flat at 23 because I doubted, and why spend time doubting like that? Um, okay, now at 26, where I just stopped, I'm going to work on that.
natural there. Um, yeah, uh, but I'm, hmm, I'm going to put three sheets because I'm... Okay, maybe this part I'll do with rhythms. Okay, so I'll show you how I practice with rhythms. I just uh, change the rhythm. So instead of doing everything uh, equal, those um, 30 second notes, I'll do one long, one short, one long, one short. And I'll do it all slurred for now. it right away I don't think oh next time I'll have it because next time I might and I might not if I write it down I'm sure I'll, I won't make the same mistake twice <laughs> ah the natural mm, good morning <laughs> okay still waking up okay and I'll stop there because it's a bit uh, honestly, I think it's a bit too long. I shouldn't be practicing that whole thing all at once. I'll do it like that for now, but maybe it's a bit better to just make smaller chunks of it. So I'll do again from 26. But now I'll do the opposite. I'll do short, long, short, long. The first one here, it's tough to do it, so don't worry too much about it. Just uh, focus on the on the next group of two when you have that rest at uh, 27. Uh, yeah, so on e, uh, D flat and E flat, that's where really you restart that uh, short long. as well so I'll write it down okay now I'm gonna do uh, one long three short what it does when you do that is that you can um, play fast but then you you leave your brain a little bit of time to think about what's going what's coming so you plan those three notes fast and then you have a little break three notes fast a little break so it's more realistic than trying to do the whole thing very fast it trains your finger to go a bit faster without overwhelming your brain do the opposite so what I do is I think I'm gonna stop on the last note of each group of, of four I do uh, fast and I stop on the last note you 
you see like here you have only three just stop on the last one But I'm gonna start again at 26 now. I'm gonna do it once slow and then I'm gonna try to do it uh, the real tempo. I don't know if I'm gonna do those slurs that are written. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna do it uh, half tempo right now and then I'm gonna try real tempo because I feel that when you play slowly you uh, gain more control and then after that you have to alternate between um, control and pushing yourself if you just push yourself you your fingers might become in that state where they just go by themselves uh, if you just play slowly well uh, you don't push your yourself to go faster so you might not you know, you have to do both, I think. That's how I practice. breathe I breathe just after the first note of a group of four or a group of eight it's a good way or where you have rests but if you do ta -da -da -ta -ta -da -da -ta -da, that's the best place between uh, between bars at bar lines it's usually not very good after a bar line the first note after that first note it's a, usually a better place okay I'm gonna try the real tempo with the metronome I was slow so I would have to work on that again but you know it's not realistic to uh, ask myself to do that all at once when I never looked at it so I'm not nervous about that I'm gonna come back to it I'm gonna still try with the with the um, recording because it's cool but you know don't um, uh, when you practice be kind with yourself you know uh, be patient with your brain you, you can't learn things uh, just like that you know, even if, if I know my scales and everything, it's still a different um, grouping of those notes sometimes. You know, you go back uh, down, you go back up, and yeah, just be patient with yourself. Okay, 26. Let's press here. Thank you. 
of work in that piece. Hey, it's not too. Oh yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I'm gonna be I'm more realistic here. for now. Um, <laughs> but I was surprised in some spots. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, it's working. Yeah, uh, yeah. I might change little um, articulations because some of those. Are th blah, I'm gonna start that again. Some of those articulations are making it more difficult to go fast. I'll see how I handle that. Um, yeah, you know, it's the editor that wrote the articulations most. Uh, so if you feel more comfortable with something else, uh, you can change them in, in that type of music in that period. have um, a 35 you have a B major arpeggio really with um, with little notes that uh, how do you not passing notes but you know just little notes that are not part of the chord that da 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 but really it's the notes that are important there are just a B, B major arpeggio so <laughs> No question? I'll do that transition because I had a doubt. I'll do from 40 through 4. 44. I didn't do an A flat, I did an F. <clears throat> 
small okay. game. That's intense for the for the tongue. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I'll have to do. Um, Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do probably every bar. I'll do um I'll cut one and yeah, it's gonna be okay like that. Um I'll take from just so I can exp experiment it once, the that breathing thing. Uh, I'll take it from fifty. Yeah, people can change the articulation, you know, like it doesn't matter, like change it to whatever you want. Yeah, so but there you can't because you really no, have to no, tongue no, it. No, yeah, in other places. But h here, you can still take a little breath, it won't matter. Mm -hmm. Like you play a wind instrument. to do it every bar maybe every two bars I'll do it um, yeah probably every two bars I'll give it a little take a breath here yeah probably like that I'll see um, here. should I redo the whole thing once or I continue what? yeah you want to continue yeah yeah okay I continue well, the tab is already That was the first movement. Now to the second movement. <laughs> yeah, so if um, if you're interested in having private lessons with me, uh, we do offer that through Skype or other means of communication <laughs> with video. Um, and it's uh, very efficient and fun. We've been doing it for a few months now. And uh, if you want to know how it works, just uh, email us at info at thefluechannel.com and we'll send you all the information about that. Also, uh, there's a lot of nice stuff on our Patreon page, so you can go and check that. You can have access to the live version of our podcast uh, for only $2 a month. And um, that's where we talk about really in depth. The stuff yeah, and we answer live. questions live and uh, we really talk in depth about the flute and it will be available. Like, I think the version afterwards yeah. will be available for everyone. But if you want to have yeah. the live version, yeah. you need to be a that's next week. Next week patron. Yeah. 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 Next week we do a Patreon, and then uh, we do a live stream, uh, flute, pod flute talk podcast, and then um, yeah, there's a lot of nice things like yeah, we made a video about all this. yeah, we have a video about that, and uh, go check the different things we offer and how you can also help us. And yeah, if you're looking for a flute, check out the Flute Center of New York. We have a deal with them. Um, you use our code TFC and it uh, gives you some perks. You get a longer warranty. You get to try more flutes for a longer period, all those things. I think it's all in the description below. And um, it also helps us. So, and we also have merch. Uh, where do, can people find our shirts and Store mugs? And Store.thefluechannel.com, it's all below. There's a special code for Monday that's on that corner, right there, on the video. Keep oh yeah, because right now it's still uh, yeah, on. Tomorrow. Until tomorrow, we have um, how much? Twenty percent, twenty-five percent off uh, all our merch. There's a very nice. Um, if you're learning your scales, arpeggios, trills, nice. uh, we have a nice poster with all the major minor scales and the key, the the fingerings and the 
trail finger rings. Yeah. I think and people like it. Sale of the year, so. Yeah, it's the only sale of the year. I, uh, so if you want to get stuff now, it would be a good time. Let's continue. No question? Just a lot of questions for the end of the show. Okay. Let's start. Second one. that breath that I should have okay okay well I think in that movement you have to uh, pay attention to the um, uh, 16th notes um, yeah because it's also divided for you to be uh, to be on time also it's pretty interesting because you can hear um, a violin or an alto or a viola I think but I think it's whatever at the <laughs> first half almost there's a B flat that's been ho held like, well, just listen to it once, you'll hear it. Um, no. Yeah, okay. Here, we'll hear that B flat. You hear it, the B flat? It stays for a while. Okay, I won't bore you with that, but if you're learning it, you should really pay attention. And then you could even use a drone when you practice for intonation. Uh, you know a drone, it's... Uh, can you give me my um, tuner, please? Yeah. So here is my tuner. So let's say I practice. I can practice just like that with the little needle, and I try to keep it in the middle. not perfect but it helps to see the tendencies of your flute it helps to see if at the end of a phrase you're going down stuff like that and then uh, yeah sometimes for people when they see the visual cue they they um, make the link with the auditory cue and then it corrects it for them to use it um, you can also use drones so a drone it's when you put a note uh, sound so here wait Oops. Okay, a B flat, and you could practice like this. to 
listen to the intervals and try to make them um, in tune. There's a little. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And after about the half of it, I think it changes to a F. I think around eight. I was um, I was playing, so I was not just paying attention to that. But I think the note changes. is interesting I'll look at the score I think like the full score too and I might write in my music what note uh -huh. it's playing so I can uh, tune it you know when that note comes in my music I can be oh okay here I am so well, I think it's interesting yeah so an F it's like <coughs> a G and then you add one finger and you have the F here yeah. good the pinky there too. yeah yeah the pinky Three fingers here and the thumb in the back. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'll do the the end again just to see if I can hold that note as long as. Uh, yeah. So I think there it's really about listening to that those sixteenth notes to be with the to be you know in sync, and then. Um, Intonation, a little bit of dynamics, not that many, but changing colors sometimes. Um, and breathing, but you have a lot of places to breathe, just you have to breathe efficiently. I'll go from 13. Oh. to breathe uh, between those two E flats or before the first of I kind of like making a little stop in between Worst case scenario, you can still take a breath just before that last bar, because the uh, you know they they kind of slow down there, so it would be fine. prefer that because the whole orchestra goes back and does one last chord together I think I'm gonna breathe there I like it okay and I think I'm not gonna do the other one because I won't need to because I'll take a big one just before 16 so that's it for that for today because I 
still have another one to go through. So that's good. Yeah. Okay, let's do the other one. Mm. Okay. I'll try that. Do that again. Why is it? It's just that. Okay, it's two full bars, I think. Okay, so I have to subdivide in three in my head. Okay, I get it. It's just it's not <laughs> obvious. Okay. it with a uh, metronome for now and then I'll start from where the orchestra starts because it's a long time to know if I'm with it oh or not okay. so here they say 58 per measure so if I do um, 50 20 50 then 8 4 1 174 if I do 168, it should be approximately that Hundred thing. I'll do it once slowly because. Orchestra, I guess the um, soloist here would have a little bit more yeah. freedom. The conductor would go like this, right. and then not conduct that part because yeah, it would be right well. As con like, if yeah, I conducted right, yeah. that, I wouldn't conduct that. Uh -huh. I would be like soloist, go ahead, and then when it goes to uh, bar twenty, bum bum, I would give the upbeat, and we would start again. Anyways, there were no, no conductor back then. Yeah. Um. So you could play that without a conductor. 58, I'm gonna try. that first part um, I'm gonna start from 21 uh, one before
I'll go from 17, I'll try. Because at yeah. H they really do it ta 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 ta. Yeah. So I'm gonna yeah, they do that. I'm gonna write to accentuate. Okay, and then they redo that um, just before I. And then it's interesting to do those dynamics because um, yeah, it's interesting. Um, I'll do that again and I'll give it a little bit more tiny. Changes in the uh, yeah, there's little um, accidentals. So I'm gonna look at that. it's not clear you do it slowly and you increase and then it becomes super clear um, we shouldn't fight against um, you know helping with little ways you know instead of being stubborn and being I'm gonna get it no just use your metronome put it very slowly and it's gonna take less time like that Is not uh, <laughs> yeah. What's the flat, third octave? High B flat. You do the thumb, you do the the thumb of the left hand, then right hand you do the index then the little spatula next to it and then uh, you can put your pinky or not it doesn't uh -huh. change man. <laughs> not a big difference that, that, that uh, trill finger in the first trill finger yeah first yeah. trill finger here the index and the thumb in the back uh -huh. 
Pinky is optional. That was from Pedro. That was from? Pedro. Pedro. Hi, Pedro. OK, um, maybe one more time. with the um, uh, so maybe from 62 one before I get stressed because the, the accompaniment changes and then okay I'm just gonna listen to it and do it in my head okay I'm just gonna do the transition without the accompaniment Pedro wants to know how to how do you triple tongue we have a video about that, uh, double tonguing and triple tonguing. Yeah, double tonguing, and triple tonguing. Um, you should look at it, it's pretty clear, but yeah, in, in yeah. short, it's ta ka ta, and then you do again, ta ka ta, and then ta ka ta, 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 ta ka yeah, it's uh, a we, beautiful yeah, piece. Did, the did we do the whole thing? We did the whole thing. The, the, all the movements? All partition, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure anymore. Oh, he can tell us. Yeah, tell <laughs> us if we did the whole thing. If not, we <laughs> should do the whole thing if we didn't do all the movements. Yeah. Well, thanks. I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm going to do it again. doing that. I'm going to write it down. Okay. It's just that I don't play it fast enough, that part. I'll put it per, per bar. I'll put it slowly at 40 once. Now I'm going to put it at 50. 
58. Okay. Yeah, it's the speed. I have to work on the speed. That's why it's uh, so difficult. Yeah, put it a I'll put it a little lower yeah, for today. Um, but at first I was also not... It was not there. No, it wasn't clear in my head. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm a tiny bit scared of it, so I, I tense, I have to oh, stick on. like the violin player, you know, he does that, it's so much easier on a violin. Oh yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's just like, because I missed it a few times, oh. I get, you know, so I just have to catch myself when it happens to you. Um, because when we get nervous, uh, some muscles get in the way of what we're doing. Some muscles that don't need to be involved get involved. Uh, so just uh, when it happens, I, catch myself and I'm like oh I'm doing this just breathe it's just a flute that there's no real danger here and uh, then it goes better so It's interesting, I like that. People really like the thing, the way you sing it, how to catch nervousness and then getting it back under control. Yeah. Just being aware. Yeah, uh, just being aware. Uh -huh. And we shouldn't feel, um, um, how do you say that? Like, um, we shouldn't feel stupid or anything no. for being afraid. It's just, it's in our genetic. Or incompetent, yeah. Or incompetent yeah. or... No, it's just, it's, we should accept that we're built that way as human beings and um, that's it, you know, there's no, there's no improvement in, in judging yourself, mm. just seeing it and taking care of it. and then it'd be flat but it's be natural be natural it's sometimes I'm able to replace the nervousness by excitement and that's so cool it happened just now I was playing that part and I thought oh I can do it I can do it you know and I got excited by trying to get to the end of the you know, sometimes just a question of perspective. So nervousness and excitement yeah. are almost uh, two uh, faces of the same coin. So just turn it around and now you're excited instead of being nervous. Um, I'm going to do from 87. 87. Okay, one bar before. and then C minor and then uh, G dominant 7 and then C minor it's always the same two chords yeah C G C G no that's it Oh, 
cents on a G. Okay. Um, and on the top, it just goes up one note at a time. So you see, you have like, we have a soprano here at 93 that does. And you have a pedal that goes. So that's the structure that you have here. I'm going to do it because there's this. There's a little retardendo here at 98, so you have to listen to those eight notes and try to be with it. You know, just um, you have to put your 16th notes inside those eight notes. And then uh, changes, it goes to lento, so you just follow them. And uh, then there's a lot of notes. Okay. Um, but I think that's mostly scales, so it looks like a e, mi e major scale until 174. So let's do the E major scale. like it's a uh, C major and with a little twist at the end of A flat B flat and then you go on the A flat then D minor D flat major flat major again okay um, it starts like yeah sometimes it's a uh, F minor 
Okay, so, but it's, uh, you don't really need to know exactly, but just be conscious that it's it's just scales. Okay, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. Um, should I do it all tongue? Maybe? Okay. It's a bit intense, maybe? I don't know. I'm trying. Just gonna listen just one second to see if I should turn everything or not. <laughs> There's nothing, okay. Yeah, so it's you. But well, you do whatever you want, I guess. Yeah. I might listen to different versions and see what I like. Yeah. that with a metronome that whole thing and bring it up you know I wonder what the flute sounds like on there because there's also a flute recording and I yeah doing that. well yeah that's something you can do listen yeah. to that one and then there's a there's a other ones online uh -huh. there's flute ones and violin ones and then you know you pick what you and you can record yourself two different ways and see how you think it's best um, not gonna be there because first um, you need you need time to learn those types of things um, and also like right now I'm getting tired because I've been doing that for over a uh, over a year <laughs> over an hour um, so usually in real life I would advise you to stop and um, and then do it another day but yeah like some people say you practice 15 minutes, then you take a 10 minute break. Yeah, that's like if you're doing a three hour oh thing a God, day, yeah, like I used to do in yeah. university, yeah. well, I would do 15 minutes or sometimes I would do the full hour, but then I would go and do something uh -huh. else, come back, not do three hours uh -huh. in a row. Even if it's just a 10 minute break, as you said, walk around the block or. Yeah, walk in your house or your apartment a little bit. Yeah, I used to do a free cell game between. <laughs> you're still a free cell addict. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs>
way better at the end to do or I'm not sure uh, I did that thing a bit too early yeah the the at uh, 146 because I was turning the pages and I didn't count. I'll take it just two bars ahead. <laughs> it sounds more romantic though. It's not in yeah, style. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, but that's good. Want to talk about uh, the app again? Yeah, so the app we were using for uh, this um, session of just practicing is called Tomply, and it's um, uh, it's an app that you uh, use and you can buy. They have a large selection of repertoire, mm -hmm. so if you're learning something with flute and piano or flute and orchestra, uh, sometimes uh, concertos they have a piano accompaniment, but it's a good way to practice and prepare for. Um, uh, performances and you know prepare for different things so uh, you can buy the piece the and you free, yeah. yeah the app is free you, you buy the pieces up, yeah. if you sign up you get three free pieces that they that pick for you like okay three, so three, if you sign pieces. up you get three free pieces but then you can buy um, you can buy different pieces you get the music that you can print and you can follow on a screen mm -hmm. and also you get all the accompaniments and the flute the flute recording the accompaniment recording and the flute and accompaniment together. Yeah, also, yeah, you can have them separate. Yeah. Each part individually. You can change the tempo. You can make uh, loops. Mm -hmm. You can. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You even have a tuning fork. I never yeah. saw it. I think that, yeah, to be in tune with their. Yeah, you can tune with their stuff. Yeah. So yeah. that's a cool app. Then, if uh, you're interested in taking lessons with me, uh, we offer that. You online. can. Yeah, online on Skype um, or another yeah. video. Um, way of uh, doing that so you can email us at info at the flute channel dot com and um, you can take one lesson or four or you can take a lesson a week for years it's like uh, it's mm -hmm. whatever suits your needs um, yeah, Patreon, yeah nice. you can also check on patreon we offer very cool things like yeah there's one thing that's called um, analyze my playing so you can record yourself send it to me I, I analyze I check you know, if you want to work on something, you say, yeah. can you talk, uh, tell me if my embouchure is okay or yeah. whatever. It's perfect for people who don't necessarily have lessons all the time, but want to have... Yeah, someone who you. doesn't want to have a full lesson, uh -huh. but just wants a little input, that uh -huh. can be a cool thing. There's other things. Just go and check on our Patreon. Um, if you're looking for a flute, you can use our code TFC with, at, uh, with the Flute Center of New York. You go at fluteforsale.com, the number four. Um, flute number four sale.com and uh, TFC code gives you perks and also helps us. And it's the holiday, so it's and it's time. Yeah, it's time. Try People are flutes. buying you flutes. Can, you can try out how many flutes? You can try out four flutes with our code, yeah, I think. Four flutes. Yeah, so you can try it for how many days? I think 10 days instead of a week. And uh, yeah, it's a good idea to try a lot of flutes if you're planning on buying a flute. Try mm -hmm. different ones. And free shipping worldwide. Yeah, free shipping worldwide. The code works worldwide. And um, you can call them or use the website, and they're all flutists, right? Yeah, all flutists, and they know what they're doing. You can call them if you don't, if you prefer to talk directly to them about your needs. They will really be uh, of help. But don't forget to use our code TFC. And uh, also, um, we have some merch. We have uh, shirts and mugs and uh, a super nice poster. And right now, because it's the um, Black it's a weekend. Black Friday weekend, we have a twenty five percent discount. So it's until Monday, yeah. until tomorrow. And that's TFC Black. TFC Black. At checkout, yeah. So if you use the code TFC Black at checkout, then you get 25% discount yeah. on all our merch. It's the only time we do a sale. Yeah, we don't do other sales. We'll do it only no, once, a yeah, year. once a year. So yeah. that's so cool. Was yeah. there any question? Yeah, we've got some questions here. Um, so Igor, I think his name is Igor. Um, he plays violin. He plays violin already, and he wants to learn the flute. Do you know if it's faster than learning without any previous instrument? Of course, it's faster if you know an instrument because yeah. you already know how to read music. You, you know, know rhythm. Style. You kn you know, 
and it's the same clef, treble clef, and it's uh, yeah. Then you have to learn the fingerings, uh -huh. blow in the flute. Yeah, watch our videos. Yeah. yeah. So. But if you need help, you can also. And yeah. uh, Nicola is finishing to edit our our, uh, our flute book. method yeah. that's going to be out probably for Christmas. In two weeks. Two weeks. So you weeks should check video. that because we'll make a full. It's going to be. I think it's going to be pretty cool because it's a full book for beginners. But we'll make a series of video videos that go with the, the book. with the, the book, book so yeah. you kind of get a lesson yeah. you have your book almost as if you were here with me yeah, and you get 13 lessons, I yeah. teach you the way I would teach someone and then you, you 14, lessons, I think, yeah. 14 lessons and then you you practice with yeah. the you practice but you can rewatch the yeah. lessons and yeah, yeah. so but that's also, um, yeah, it has eight tunes in it as well as in the lessons like and oh everything is in the lesson you it's have like sound exercises yeah. technique exercises repertoire studies like you have but even at the end of the book, there's, there's yeah, a lot of I, etudes. Yeah, a great. couple of etudes at the end. And also, we'll put all the the scales that are in that program mm -hmm. for, you know, once you're finished that book, mm -hmm. the scales you should know until yeah. you go to the next level. Yeah. We'll put all of them also at the end yeah. with the sound exercises. So at the end, you have kind of a recap. Yeah. And, uh, I wish I, I had that book <laughs> when I was a kid. One yeah. has a lot of it inside. And I made it because when I have beginner students, there was not a real book that uh -huh. I really enjoyed using. So I thought I'll make one for my students. And then I thought, well, why not make one for everyone? Well, you screwed it because you had a lot of different books. That was a problem. You had a bunch of different books that you yeah. could get out of. And now you kind of. But it's a lot to buy for the students. Yeah, so much. To buy all those books, you know, because you need one for a sound and one for this and one for that. It's, it's right. a bit much, you know. So yeah. now we try to put everything there. And there's a lot of people who want to learn on their own. So the videos will be very helpful for that. Uh, Harry Potter wants to know, how do you double tongue? I've watched your video, but I don't understand it. Okay. So uh, Harry Potter <laughs> wants to know how to... Uh, use a spell. <laughs> yeah, use a spell, the takata spell. Um, so how to double tongue? You watch my video, you don't understand. Well, um, when you tongue, when you single tongue, you use the, the syllable, the, no, the consonant ta. Ta, 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 ta. So you, you put your tongue where you put it when you say ta, and then you blow and tch, 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 tch. When you double tongue, you just add another consonant, which is ka. So you do ka, 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 k, 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 with the back of, of your throat. You, but not the back of your throat, just your throat. K, 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 or the back of the mouth. You know, it goes k, k. When you do the sound ka, ka, like ko, ko, you know? Just be, be aware of where it is in your mouth. K, k, k. And then... You alternate between the ta and the ka. You do ta, ka, ta, ka. While you're blowing. And then you can do it faster and faster. So you can play that Vivaldi that goes. So instead of going ta, 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 you go ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, and it goes faster. I don't know if you understood. Please tell us if you did, if it was clearer this way. Was there any other question? Uh, yep, yeah. we, uh, we have a question here about nervousness a little bit. Uh, do you ever get stressed when you're playing a note? I do, and um, I also get stressed out when I get lost. Do you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I get stressed all the time. We all do. Um, yeah. I think maybe, okay, um... Yeah, we have to f we have to stop wondering if we're normal because we're all normal to feel stressed about things. The only thing is that it's not helping us. Uh, so m maybe we have to be kinder to ourselves because we judge ourselves a lot. Um, yeah, sometimes I repeat things to myself in my head like "be kind," <laughs> "be kind to yourself," uh, or um, or um, try try softer I like that one a lot try softer because we always were always been told as kids to try harder oh if you didn't get it it's because you didn't try hard enough so what do we do with our bodies when we want to try harder we uh, we get more stiff but if you want to play an instrument with ease that stiffness is not is not on your side so try softer try calmer try kinder you know I think would be good things to uh, tell yourself and plus just be patient. Maybe that note is not coming out because you're not warmed up yet. Play a little bit, and it's gonna it's gonna come. You know, 
Um, sometimes I do get lost in orchestra because when there's a lot of bars to count, sometimes I um, it happens. It's rare because usually I try to stay focused. And yeah, it's it's stressful when it happens. But usually there's other musicians. Yeah, there's, yeah, you know, you. Yeah. Uh, that also goes to what Axel, this guy, Axel Moreno, he says, I'm nervous. I'm playing for my flute etude this week for TMEA, the Texas Music Education Association. Uh, I haven't been focusing as much, but I'm, uh, but I'm not too nervous. Do you have any advice? Okay. Advice for what? Playing your etudes. Like, at a, like say you're playing an etude at one of those tests, you know? Okay. They don't get the... I haven't been focusing as much, but I'm not too nervous, so I guess keep following that. Feedback. Yeah, if you're not too nervous, it's good. Maybe instead of using the word nervous, um, I would use... Uh, no, no, don't eat a no, banana no, 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 right yeah, uh, before playing because no, no, it's that. sugary and you'll have sugar in your food. In the past, I was like, why, it's why because of the potassium. Yeah, but why don't you take a potassium pill? <laughs> yeah, and I don't yeah. know if your body really um, gets the potassium right away. No, like, it has to go in the blood It has stream. to be in the... Yeah, so yeah. you have to digest it and then it goes in your intestines and that's when the potassium gets in your yeah. body so of, yeah. maybe take potassium a few days before yeah. you know I think, they, I think it's uh, the bio, like biologists and like nutrition say a banana like vegetables in the gut and in the stomach takes between 20 to 40 minutes to digest so I mean it's not getting anything yet nutritionally until I think it's more than that but maybe it's less I like, don't know meat is like an hour and a half yeah I don't know but um yeah. yeah. So what were we saying? Following yeah. Feeling, just keep not being yeah. And yeah. Maybe I would I would replace the word nervous by calm. Um, instead of saying I'm not nervous, I'm not nervous. Just uh, tell yourself, oh, I'm calm. Everything's good. I, it's under control. Like using positive words because when you talk to yourself, your subconscious doesn't understand the negation, the 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 not. If you if you tell yourself, don't see. Um, pink elephant with uh, green dots you see a pink elephant with, with green dots in your head with the x on it but you still see that thing if you say i'm not nervous i'm not nervous you still have that nervous 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 going in your brain so i try to say um yeah i'm calm it's under control i'm ready one thing that works with me is that i tell myself that i'm just um kind of a tube that music goes through this way um okay that sounds well it's i'll just say it um because sometimes it's our ego that gets in the way because we're so scared of being judged if i just um if i'm just a um, tube that the music goes through then my ego is not in the way it's not me you know what i'm uh, it's a bit i don't know if it's clear but it's it's not me playing as much as music playing through me and when I have that mindset um, it's easier because I'm not thinking about what people are thinking about of me that's a lot of energy that we lose oh what are these people thinking that we should be putting on playing our music because we can't control what people are thinking we can only control what we're doing and even control sometimes it's when we want too much of it that's when um, that's when we kind of lose it, so you know? Like you have, it's a, it's a balance. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's something <laughs> to work on on your whole life. Eric just donated on the Super Chat, $10. So he, nice, he thanks promised, Eric. He promised this last, last session that he would do it and he did it now. So oh, that's so nice. That. Thank he you for really, the, really, for uh, the support. Uh, yeah. And then what else we got here? So yeah, he's uh, the other guy, Axel. Yeah, he's just been playing for a while and he's been playing slowly and stuff like that. Maybe speed up a little bit. Yeah, that's good to play slowly, yeah, but you have to push yourself. Yeah. As I said in the in the live stream today, um, alternate between slow and fast. And also you can be like, okay, I do one beat super fast, one beat I rest, one beat fast, one beat I rest, and then two beats fast, one beat I rest, then a whole bar fast, one beat I rest. And then go back to slowly to keep controlling your, f so that your fingers don't go by themselves. Slow, slow, uh, s playing slowly brings you control, but then you want to push yourself a little bit. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, one last question. Uh, do you have any tips on playing low notes louder? Do you want to repeat that? That's yeah. 
So any really tips mean. by uh, about playing low notes louder? Didn't we make a video about that? Yeah, maybe or just playing louder in general? Two. We have two videos actually. Well, I would say what I do is I use my nose when I want to play loud in the low notes. I go nyeh, nyeh, and then something wrong with my flute. Oh, that's your, that's the, the thumb chord, man. Ah! Stop doing that. You do that a lot. It's going to really damage the flute. <laughs> too much down because then the angle is not good anymore don't cover the hole like this if you play high there's not a big difference usually people overdo the difference between the, the different octaves and that's that uh, that effort that makes it harder mm -hmm. that specific effort to get it that if you didn't do anything you would probably get a better result and when you practice, like push your notes to the limit. Don't um, don't be scared of cracking. You're practicing. Mm -hmm. It's time to crack. Then yeah. you'll know where where your limit is. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. So it's time to and maybe yeah. Let's do some more okay. So and that's cool. I hope you liked the uh, just practicing today. I hope it was helpful. And uh, if you liked it, please like it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and, and see you. And join our Patreon. And join our Patreon, yeah. <laughs> yeah but yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Patreon. There's um, flute lessons online. There's uh, merch that's on sale right now. So yeah, check, that check it's all in the description below. And, check and out um, yeah, check out Tomplay. It's a very good app for learning all those pieces. So thank you so much, and see you next time.